All right, so I'm going to be showing how to open up and disassemble this MSI, um, this model GF63 Thin. Um, specific model is GF63 Thin 9SC-614US. And then there's a bunch of numbers at the end, which I'm not going to read. The main thing is GF63 Thin 95C. All right, we're going to be using a JS1 screwdriver to remove all the screws from the bottom. You want to keep them in order because they can be different size, shape, and lengths. So the way I do that is I put them flat side down on my desk and the pattern I remove them. So take the screw out, then you put them flat side down like that, okay? And you can see we got, looks like three up here, then we got like one here, then we got a bunch going here. Um, and just put them in that pattern on your desk or however can help you remember it easier, okay? All right, so let's go ahead and continue removing all these screws. There are quite a few, so hopefully you'll be able to keep track of all of them. Okay. Also on the bottom of this cover, there is a little hole here, uh, which is a kind of like a battery reset hole. If for some reason your uh, laptop isn't turning on, you can try using a pin or like a folded out paper clip to press and hold that for about 15 seconds to drain any residual power and sometimes that'll get it to turn back on. Also if you didn't notice there's the factory seal sticker there um, that needed to be ripped out so that you can get to the screw underneath. Okay. All right, once we got all these screws out, we do need to pop the bottom cover off. The customer wanted to upgrade their RAM to 32 gigs, so that's why we're opening this. All right, and let's see here. So on this model, there's a gap here between the bottom cover and the uh, palm rest, depending how it's designed. Let's see if we can open it from this side. Usually I'll get my fingernails in and push with my thumb on the palm rest. Okay, and you can see it's popping. So we're gonna work our way around there and hopefully that will pop it up. Sorry, I know it's going over the edge. Be careful not to press on the palm rest there, I mean the touchpad there. Okay, so it looks like that's not exactly how you would pop it up because it doesn't want to pop out there. So let's kind of see if we can work our way over to the sides, maybe this side first. Okay, so we'll go over to this side and I'll push with my thumb on the bottom and then work our way around the side here. And that looks like it's working. Now let's work our way around the front, same thing. All right, obviously you can use plastic pry tools and stuff as well, but I find this works best for me. Okay, so we got this side and that out. Um, we're gonna now work on removing this side. And sometimes what you can do is you can grab the cover and you can kind of wiggle it as you pull and that should pop out, but this one seems like it's a bit stronger with the clips. So there we go, looks like we popped that. Then we got that, all right. So it looks like this side, kind of wiggle it and pull the cover up that way and, or pull it in that direction as you kind of go and you can see it's kind of twisting and coming out there we go so there's the bottom cover removed inside you can see there's a 2.5 inch SATA hard drive slot or connector here um, it didn't come with a caddy I don't know sometimes it comes with one but it's in the box and people don't know so they throw it away um, there's an M.2, most likely, yeah, there's a PCIe NVMe SSD, so if you want to upgrade that, you can. Um, then you got the connector here for the speakers. We're just going to do a quick look inside of here uh, because the customer isn't having issues with it other than wanting to upgrade the RAM. Okay, there's one stick of RAM, but there's two slots. You got the LCD LVDS connector here. If you're going to mess with this, make sure you disconnect this battery connector first. Open the laptop and then press and hold the power button for at least 15 seconds to drain any residual power. If you don't, removing this, if it goes somewhat at an angle or anything, it can actually um, cause an arc and it can fry the backlight circuit, the screen, the cable, this connector. Um, and yeah, nothing good can come of that. So, all right, then you got the fan connector here. Here you can see the button that you could see from underneath the hole. Um, also, this speaker connects to the other speaker with this wire. All right, you got the wireless card here, and then you got the GPU here with the GPU memory being uh, covered with the heatsink there, and then the CPU there. Also, CPU and GPU are soldered to the motherboard, so you can't replace those. Okay, anyways, uh, main thing we're doing is the RAM upgrade, so let's pull these two tabs aside. This pops up, and you can pull that out. This is an 8 gig stick. We got this uh, RAM here, which is two, 
two 16 gig sticks, so we're gonna upgrade it to 32 gigs. And yeah, pretty simple upgrade. Just grab the stick of RAM. Um, it goes in at an angle like that. And then while you're pushing it in, click it down. Perfect, all right, let's get the other stick here. Same thing, goes in at an angle. Make sure to keep pushing it in and then click it down. All right, so there we go. We got the RAM installed. Okay, and now let's go ahead and um, close it back up. Very simple. All right, I guess we'll do kind of a thumbnail or picture here so that way um, people can see what's inside without having to open the computer. All right, so there we go. Now we're gonna put the bottom cover on. You do have to start with the headphone jacks on this side because they kind of stick out into there. So kind of go at an angle and then work that into place. All right, so let me see if I can show it. So here you can see it's kind of not lined up. You wanna get that in and lined up. There we go. Once you get that, you can work your way around the outside, clicking it all into place. All right, very simple, straightforward. All right, we're gonna turn this on first just to make sure the RAM works okay. Slowly, carefully open this up and push the power button. Okay, and the power button light is on and the screen is not on yet. Um, also, if you're wondering what RAM you need, um, let's see here, uh, maybe it's not gonna work with this RAM because nothing's coming on the screen. But uh, this RAM is PC42666V, all right? Oh, okay, there we go, it's turning on, it just took a while. So there you go. All right, and now we have 32 gigs of RAM. Um, I would recommend restarting the computer one time after installing or changing any hardware components. Um, most likely the reason it took a while to start up is because it creates a paging file on the SSD, and that's so if the computer crashes, it can dump the memory onto there. So yeah, it's working now. All right, so we're gonna shut this down, and then we're gonna put back the screws, and that's pretty much it. Hopefully this video helped you guys out. Oh, looks like their battery was too low, but uh, yeah, all right. So anyways, let's get all the screws back in. Again, hopefully this video helped you guys out. If it did, please make sure to like, subscribe, share my channel with others so that they can learn how to upgrade and repair their devices as well. And if it helped you save a bunch of money, please consider contributing a little to the channel. Every little bit helps and allows me to continue making these videos for a living. Um, if you can't contribute that way, it would help a lot if you could watch a few of my other videos and like and comment on them. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Let's get all these screws in and we're good to go. Alright, I guess I'll have to plug their thing in if they gave me, I don't know if they gave me the charger to do that. But uh, to make sure everything stays on and works okay. Other than that, we're good to go. All right, last few screws. Okay. And the last one here. Alright, and that's all there is to it. Double check all around, make sure all the seams are clicked in. Oh, looks like these clips didn't seat properly, so let's pull those and click those back down. Okay, there we go. Alright, so these you kind of have to pull and then also click it down in place this way. The rest seem okay, so yeah, should be good to go. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one. Alright, let's drop this. Bye.